Do you struggle to know what to pack for a trip and then end up frustrated and exhausted from lugging around heavy suitcases stuffed with clothes you never even end up wearing? As a recovered overpackaholic, I'm here to tell you that there is a better way and packing light is the way to go. Hi there friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and this is Ages in Life where we talk about the A to Z of simplifying your way to a life you love. And I used to think that travel capsule wardrobes were only for the young and fashionable. So as someone whose fashion sense is a lot closer to Adam Sandler than it is to Anna Winter, I never thought I would be making a video like this. But I know that I can't be the only middle-aged mom out there who's dreaming about a realistic minimalist travel wardrobe that doesn't take up a lot of space and is easy to pack into a small suitcase while still having everything we need to feel and look our best. I'm currently in Europe for a three week vacation. And for this trip, I packed 15 wardrobe items, giving me a total of 30 outfits to choose from each day. And not only was I able to fit my entire minimalist travel capsule wardrobe in a single carry on luggage, but because I packed so light, I was also able to pack an entire wardrobe for both of my kids in that same carry-on as well. So in this episode of Minimalism For Real, I'm sharing how and what I pack as a minimalist mom for comfort, simplicity, and no more wrestling with overstuffed suitcases at the airport. So if any of that sounds good to you and you enjoy this video or find it helpful, please be sure and give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and let's dive on in. So for my minimalist travel capsule wardrobe, I packed a total of 10 clothing items and five shoes and accessories. And as far as the clothing, I packed four tops, four pairs of bottoms, and two dresses. Now, I do want to note here that when it comes to packing light, planning ahead is critical, and that means that you need to think about what kind of activities you're going to be doing, events you'll be attending, and what the weather is going to be like when you're traveling. We are traveling to Germany for my father-in-law's 85th birthday, and the weather on average is going to be hot, 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 with average temperatures in the 80s and 90s, with a few cooler days here and there. So my outfits need to be casual, comfortable, and as light as possible so I don't sweat to death, especially since there's no air conditioning here. As far as tops, I packed one white tank top, one mocha tank top, my favorite charcoal gray pink Floyd t-shirt, and a cream long sleeve button up. I actually got this white tank top last year and I liked it so well that I ended up getting the exact same tank top in the mocha color and technically they're workout tank tops, but shh, don't tell, it'll be our little secret, okay? Shh. Now the reason that I like these tank tops so much is one, because they have a built-in bra, which means that I can go braless, and two, I find that because I have kind of broad shoulders, I have to be really careful with the neckline of my tank tops and especially square necklines kind of make me look like a linebacker, just very broad across the shoulders. And I think that the V-neck of these tanks not only work well for complementing my torso, but they also add visual interest and make it easier to dress them up or down. I love this pink Floyd shirt because not only is it light and cozy, but it's also easy to match with neutral bottoms or ones that are solid colors, like my favorite green ones. And finally, I brought the long sleeved cream colored button up top to layer on top of my other outfits on cooler days, but it can also be worn buttoned up with any of the bottoms that I brought. And speaking of bottoms, the four wardrobe bottoms that I brought include a pair of green shorts, my favorite paper bag waist green skirt, and a pair of sage green linen pants. Can you tell I like to wear green bottoms? I just love that it's so versatile and it's neutral enough to pair with lots of colors and prints on top, while at the same time adding a bit more color on bottom instead of just relying on plain white or black or khaki or gray. I also brought one of the oldest items in my wardrobe, which is this bird skirt that I got from Anthropologie 
back when I was pregnant with my oldest son 12 years ago. And not only does this skirt have pockets, but it actually used to be a dress. But I had a seamstress convert it to a skirt after I lost my boobs to breastfeeding. RIP boobs, I miss you. And then as far as dresses, I brought a nice light linen dress and a longer blue maxi dress that I also wore as a maternity dress when I was pregnant with my oldest son. So the linen one is five years old and the maxi dress is 12 years old. By now, you've probably noticed that I tend to hang on to my clothes for long periods of time. And there are several reasons for this. Reason number one is that it's a good way to be sustainable. And considering that as much as 92 million tons of clothing ends up in our landfills each year, I like to try to extend the lifespan of my clothes as long as possible to cut down on environmental waste. But then on top of that, it also just makes good financial sense for me because fashion isn't really something that I'm knowledgeable or picky about. So cutting back on how much money I spend on clothing is a no brainer because it means I have more money to put towards stuff I actually care about, like going on cool vacations or sharing fun experiences with my kids. So that's just an example of how I've aligned the clothes that I wear with my personal philosophy towards minimalism. And then along with the 10 clothing items that I packed in my minimalist travel capsule wardrobe, I also brought five shoe and accessory items. And those include one pair of sunglasses that I purchased from the drugstore ages ago, one canvas purse that I've had since I was 18 years old. So yes, that's over 20 years old. And the reason I like this one is because I can fit all of my camera equipment in it with me when I travel. And then I brought a pair of Skechers sandals, a pair of tennis shoes, and then also my wedding ring set that includes the ring that my mother left me when she passed away and the wedding band that my husband gave me. So now that we've gone through all 15 of the items that I packed in my minimalist travel wardrobe, let me show you how I combine those items to create 30 different outfits. Starting with the white tank top, which I can pair with various bottoms, and then on the days that it's cooler, I can also layer the cream button up on top of any of those outfits to keep warm. And the same thing goes for the mocha tank top, which can be worn with the green shorts, the green paper bag waist skirt, or the linen pants. But my favorite combination is to wear the mocha tank top with the bird skirt on bottom. And then of course I can also layer the cream top on top of any of these outfits on cooler days. Now the same rule could also apply to the pink Floyd shirt, but I find that I don't feel like it goes so well with the bird skirt. So I didn't count that combination in this list, but here it is just in case you're interested in seeing what it looks like when I pair those two items together and comment below and let me know if you would wear this outfit or not. And then like I said, this cream top can be thrown on top of any of those outfits or worn by itself with any of the bottoms. And in fact, I did wear this cream top on top of the blue maxi dress when we were flying to Germany on the plane because not only is it super comfortable, but it's also nice to have an outfit that works for you to go from 90 degree weather onto a chilly plane and back again without sweating to death or freezing your butt off. That also happens to be one of my favorite minimalist travel and packing hacks, which is to wear your bulkiest items on the plane. And if you want to know more tips and hacks for how to pack light and travel like a minimalist, make sure to go check out this video or I'll see you next week. Until then, Take care. Bye-bye.